Hello guys and girls, today I'll be showing you how you can uh, have Citra Vulcan. Recently, some a couple of months ago, the developers of Citra they decide to you know to remove the Vulcan feature on Citra. But I'm talking about Ubuntu. So now I bring you. Now I'm bringing you. A, let's say a solution for those who want to enjoy uh, 3DS games, uh, 99% playable and some 100% playable. So as you can see here, uh, the the Ubuntu is you know beginning. So, as you can see here, this is the, the main interface, I'm going to open Citra, and I'm going to show you that this version of Citra, of this compilation of Citra, is fully working, and besides that, I'm going to give, I'm going to, I'm going to teach you step by step, all the necessary uh, this is a guy a video tutorial in which you will have Citra with Vulcan as you can see here this is the emulator is already open and as you can see here it says Vulcan okay this is thanks to Mr. Rowe so I'm gonna show you right now on my discord server this guy was the one who make uh, this thing possible. I'm gonna give you in the description uh, the link of the image. All you need to do is to transfer the files to, I'm gonna open it. And, okay, it doesn't matter. So one, uh, something that I would like to tell you, so, the file that you need is this one uh, the one the size is for 5.41 gigabytes it is a zip file you need to download that file, download that file to your um, computer and then you need to um, zip it you need to extract it to your computer and then you need to transfer that file to the uh, root no you need to transfer those files to the switch root uh, install file once you are there you need to go to your uh, Nintendo switch and you need to flash you need to flash the Linux uh, something that I would like to tell you is that everything is going to be deleted from your console so keep that in mind but you are gonna have once again Citra with Vulcan now I'm gonna show you a little bit of gameplay from one of my favorite games I've been um, I've been it I have been playing it for a while uh, but first let me show you the configuration and you will have a better view now I'm going to show you the graphics and in graphics uh, as you can see there it says uh, the resolution I have it 2x now let's go to advance and you'll see that in advance the graphics app the graphics app it says Vulcan right so you don't have to do you don't have to do um, a very uh, you know difficult processes all you need to do is to transfer those files to the root of your the to the switch root install file and you gotta enjoy you need at least um, you know 50 gigabytes of free memory and you will have all of these applications 
you will have Jusu, you will have um, Dog Station, you will have Dolphin, you will have Citra, you will have Mel on DS, you will have um, GBI, GBA, sorry, Moonlight, uh, Beta 3, 3K, RetroPie, um, BNES HD, and this uh, PlayStation 2 emulator, PSP emulator. But now let me show you the one that that uh, it is not available right now uh, unless you use this method. I'm gonna play Super Mario 3D Land. Um, as you can see there. Looks I'm gonna set the screen full screen. Okay, this is a real Nintendo Switch. I'm not lying to you. And as you can see, there the game is gorgeous so um you know looks i don't know what happened there are some slopes down i don't know why it's kind of weird it doesn't happen okay now let's let me show you the gameplay so kid it is oops <laughs> I'm not good at it. It's a software day. Oh, something that I forgot to tell you is that the this um, compilation of Linux is gonna be in Chinese because the guys. Let me tell you that the game is awesome. No lags. Working smoothly. So now you understand why Citra Vulcan is a must. You really want to take advantage of your Nintendo Switch, you really need to have Citra with Vulcan. It is all gorgeous. Oops. Okay, uh, I think this is enough, but I think I'm gonna finish it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish this level for you to check. That's it. Room is again. So as you can see there, the, the game is 100% enjoyable. Okay. Um, what else I can say? Oh, I forgot to mention that the system is going to be in Chinese. So you need to change the language. You need to go here and you need to go to, let me see, system settings. 
of course this is going to be in english and then you need to go to language support once you are there you need to wait um, some time okay as you can see here uh chinese is right here and i'm gonna uh, you know set the language to chinese just for you to check uh, okay all you need to do is you need to look for english and you need to uh, right left click and then you need to do what i'm doing now set or put the, the language in the first place once you are there you need to restart the system and that'll be all uh, something that something that i have forgotten is uh, the the password because this uh, compilation was done by this guy this chinese uh, boy uh, i asked him in the discord what was the password and the password is very 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 uh, let's say simple all you need to do is to write the password is the number one that's it only one character you don't need anything else so if you are looking if you're gonna open terminal the password is gonna be the number one you need 20 27 gigabytes okay that is the password I'm gonna show you right now in a better view that is the password so guys if you had any doubt don't hesitate to ask me I'll be more than glad to help you um, what else I can say okay everything is gonna be in Chinese you need to change the language and all you need to do I'm gonna show you because maybe you are not familiar with the Hecate where Hecate I don't know how to say that in English <clears throat> okay once you have transferred the files to your Nintendo switch to the um, what was the folder to the switch root install folder you need to go to tools you need to go to partitions SD card you need to click in OK um, I'm gonna assume that you already have installed Ubuntu what you need to do is click in here switch uh, flash Linux so as you can see here I got an error message and that is because I already deleted the files and you will get everything that I show you earlier in the video so guys that will be all for today this is a very simple way to have Citra with Vulkan once again and the password for this Linux for this Linux system is the number one I'm gonna leave in the description the, the file you need to download and extract and you need to transfer to the switch to the switch root folder and that'll be all and then you need to flash a Linux once again and remember that everything that you have there is gonna be deleted okay thank you and have a nice uh, day